What's going on, YouTubers? Today, I wanted to make a video of the top 10 Dragon Ball Z statues that I want made, that I feel deserve to have a statue made of them, certain scenes, certain characters, certain scales. Uh, you know, I've always had my wish list over the years, uh, most of which have been made. You know, for example, that Dragon Fist was a dream statue of mine, and it finally came and I'm so happy, but there's still plenty of statues I still wish I had, both in 1-6 uh, and plenty in 1-4, because 1-4 is still relatively new to Dragon Ball Z. And only in the last year and a half, really, have we started to see lots of 1-4 statues. But I wanted to give you guys my top 10 wish list of DBZ statues I wish would be made. Starting at number 10 would be a 1-4 scale Super Boo. So there's not a ton of Super Boo statues. I actually only have technically two. And that's him right there, Super Boo, fighting Mr. Gohan. And technically, he fights Gotenks inside that little ball. But, you know, here you have Super Boo. Uh, and then here's what I'd want, a one-fourth scale, and I'd want three different torsos. Because Super Boo had different transformations where he was the Gotenks version and the Gohan version, where he had, like, that clothing on so I wish someone would make a statue giving me three different poses. Like, give me like a deluxe and then a normal version with just one. But give me three upper bodies because it has the same lower body in all of them. But then give me switch out heads with the different versions of him. I make just like one ultimate super bill. He was a huge part of Dragon Ball Z. And I feel he does not have any justice. You know, I, I really liked him. You know, he's a major form of Boo. It seems like mostly it's just fat and kid Boo. But I want Super Boo. Give me Super Boo and give me one that's a 1-4 scale with a switch out torso and all three versions of Super Boo. I think that would be awesome. You know, three different poses. They all have different looking faces and upper bodies. So that would be a very cool statue. And I think you should do two versions. One where it's just the normal Super Boo at a cheaper price and then a deluxe with all three upper torsos. No, that's obviously more expensive, but that would be like the ultimate one-fourth Super Boo statue. So that's number 10, one-fourth Super Boo. Number nine is going to be a one-fourth scale Deborah and Bobbity statue. Now, Deborah was absolutely incredibly cool. I loved him. I wish we, he got more screen time and more fighting in, you know, before he was, you know, perished. But I would love a 1-4 scale version of him with the correct skin tone, you know, where it's this darker red. You know, he was a much darker red. We only have one Super Boo statue currently, and it definitely lacks when it comes to Deborah. I think his red is almost pinkish, and it definitely is not dark enough. He was much darker in the anime. The sculpt is amazing, but it's really missed the point on the paint job on that. Plus, the sculpted cape looks terrible. But I would love a 1-4 scale version of Deborah with Bobbity. Uh, you know, standard museum pose would probably even just work fine. I think that would be an amazing statue and definitely, you know, something I would love to collect. So number nine, Deborah with Bobbity 1-4 scale. Number eight, there technically is sort of statues made, but I want an upgraded version and also two scales. So I'm talking about Gohan, one arm Kamehameha versus Perfect Cell. Now these are not like connected bases and matching statues. They're made by two different producers. They just happen to go well together. But I would want this scene, Gohan with Goku, one arm Kamehameha versus Perfect Cell Kamehameha. And I'd want it in a 1-6 giant diorama with a connected, like all one giant base, not two separate bases. And I'd want the giant ball explosion of the key in the middle and them shooting key out of their hands. You know, something absolutely massive, somewhat similar to the MRC Piccolo special beam cannon, like something that big, you know, or as big as like this. And you'd have the giant aura in the middle with lighting effects. I think that would be absolutely amazing. You know, one massive base. You could even have like little characters on the side, like a little Trunks and Vegeta, uh, the Trunks who's like was killed more or less by Cell. I think that would just be a grail one six scale statue. I do absolutely love these. The sculpt and paint's amazing, but I would love an upgraded version with the better base connected, giant ball light up. You know, you can make it huge, like three feet long. That would just be such a grail. 
that's always been a dream statue of mine is having one massive Gohan versus Cell. So such an epic ending. So that is definitely one I would want made uh, upgraded version of Gohan versus Cell. So that is going to be number eight. Alrighty, now number six is actually going to be a 1-4 scale Gotenks. So I have Gotenks right there at the VKH. Love it. Amazing statue. But uh, we need more Gotenks. I love Gotenks. Such a cool character. You know, the first time they introduced Fusion. And I want a 1-4 scale version. And I would want one with three different heads. I want the standard head with the purple and black, Super Saiyan 1, and Super Saiyan 3. And then Action Pose... Uh, It'd be great if you could do it even in multiple arms as well. You know, like you could do Galactic Donut or a Key Blast. Heck, even like the Figure Art Zero pose works fine. But we need a 1-4 scale Go Tanks with three heads to give us true justice of this awesome character. So that's number six, 1-4 scale Go Tanks. Number five is going to be a 1-4 scale Krillin. So we don't have a ton of Krillin statues out there. The best one is obviously the Tsume one, which is amazing. But I want a 1-4 scale, just single Krillin statue. You know, he's obviously a huge character in the anime. Goku's best friend, plays many parts. Ideally, I would love more of an action pose where he's doing his Destructo disc. I think that would probably be the best option. Uh, you know, maybe do a few switch outs. But I'd want him in the classic, you know, gi here. I wouldn't want an alternate costume or the hair version. Just give it to me. Like in Saiyan Saga or Cell Saga. Those are the ones I would want. But a 1-4 scale version of Krillin. I think he's a key character. And we simply do not have a lot of them. Heck, I don't have a single Krillin here. I used to have one. Uh, the MRC one, but I sold it. But I am getting the Tsume one. So I'm waiting on that, but I would love a Krillin in 1-4 scale, you know, that would just be an awesome statue. So number five, one fourth Krillin. Number four, I want a good Goku Super Saiyan 3 versus Fat Boo. I loved that fight. It was so cool seeing Goku go Super Saiyan 3 for the first time, you know, him screaming for 10 minutes. We do have this current Defung Shung statue, but that is an utter failure in my opinion. They really messed up on that. Uh, the paint job, the sculpt, just terrible. It did not do it justice, but I want a good 1-4 scale version. You know, this was such a cool fight, such an epic moment when Goku went Super Saiyan 3 for the first time. So we need a good statue of this. I am surprised we only got the one and it was terrible. So other uh, creators out there, if you are watching this, please make a good Goku vs. Boo statue. I want a good one. You know, like, heck, this kicking in the face would be sick. Give me a 1-6 scale with a good paint and sculpt. So, number four, Goku vs. Fat Boo. Alrighty, now we're down to the top three, and these are my personal ones I've always wanted. And we sort of do have this one per se, uh, not even for pre-order yet, but basically, I want a 1-4 scale Big Bang Attack, like that. Now, Prime 1 Studios has shown off a Vegeta Big Bang Attack, However, it was very subpar. They really missed the ball so far from what I've seen. Uh, like, let me show you guys. I, originally, I liked it when I initially saw it. But then as I looked at it more, I realized that they failed miserably. And I know it's supposed to be up for pre-order soon. So I'm hoping that they improve it. So here it is. It definitely has a lot of good going for it. But then a, a lot of stuff I don't like going on it. I mean, right now, that's obviously the best option, but I do want a good 1-4 scale Big Bang Attack. I'm hoping Prime 1 comes through, re-sculpts that face, adds more detail, fixes that god-awful underbase. Uh, you know, so if they can fix this, that will be a grail to me. But if they don't, then I'll keep my hopes up that another studio like Exceed will come out with a 1-4 scale Vegeta Big Bang Attack. That's my third most wanted DBZ statue. Alrighty, now we're down to number two, and it's also a Vegeta statue. It's the Final Flash. I absolutely love Final Flash. When he first did it against Cell, the music, the way he screamed it, oh, just chills down my spine. I love it. So I would love a good 1-4 scale Final Flash, and I'd actually like it with two heads. 
Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan Blue because, you know, he did it in both forms. So you can get both options. And I'd love both arm options, both arms wide and arms close together with a key ball. You know, have some electricity effects, aura that lights up. I would just absolutely love this statue. Now, one company did come around and show off a final flash and the initial concept looked amazing. I actually even pre-ordered it and it was one six. And then when they showed the prototype, it was horrible. So I canceled and then the company disappeared. But I want a good one four scale version, two heads, two arms, light up aura and base. I just think that would be such a grail. So hoping a uh, studio out there, if you're watching this, please make this statue. It will be a grail. Number two, Vegeta Final Flash one four scale. Now we're down to number one. And my most wanted statue I have wanted forever, and I still have not seen true justice, is a one four scale Goku Namek. I would want both base hair and Super Saiyan, so two heads, Namek base, you know, ideally light up aura, and you know, some sick pose, either Kamehameha or powering up or something. But we still have not received a true justice. And for me, ideally, I would want it with half shirt ripped off like that. You know, I like that look the best. So this is the statue I want most made. A good 1-4 scale version. Now there's plenty of new 1-4 scale version Gokus out there that have, you know, gone out for pre-order. We have the Prime 1 Studios, which is amazing. But it's not a Namek Goku. It's more or less a artist interpretation with that base. It's not from a certain scene and then multiple heads. You have the KD Collectibles version. Uh, that's not a Super Saiyan Namek version. It's also an artist interpretation with Super Saiyan 3 and one head. And I'm not a big fan of the Super Saiyan 1 or 2 head, whichever head that is. Uh, so I'm still waiting for the ultimate Namek Super Saiyan Goku in 1-4 scale. I have high hopes that eventually we will get this statue in true justice seems like a lot of companies are always trying to come out with the secondary characters uh, where the most important character of them all has not received true justice. You know, Super Saiyan was the key moment of Dragon Ball Z when it truly changed the game. Why do we not have a 1-4 scale version of Goku and Namek? It absolutely boggles my mind. And I've been telling producers for years, we need this statue. For some reason, they always want to make weird scenes and secondary characters but just give me a freaking Goku Namek style 1 4 scale. Like, heck, I would take that any day of the week 1 4 scale over any pre order to date. You know, we have a lot of 1 4s, you know, that are coming out constantly, but we are missing the most important one of them all. And it drives me absolutely crazy. So, I'm, you know, I again, if any producer is watching this, make a 1 4 scale Goku Namek. That is my most wanted statue and has been for six years and I still do not own it. One day, I hope to own it. If producers are smart and actually make this statue, then I, you know, I'll be so ecstatic when that day finally comes and I see it and it's perfect. Perfect paint sculpt, pose, switch out options, pricing, you know. So that is my most number one wanted statue. Uh, you know, and I'm sure there's a lot of other collectors that are like me that really just want uh, Goku Namek style. Heck, I would love it if it even had switch out torsos where it's, you know, either full shirt or ripped shirt and then shirtless version. I, I would just be so happy to own that. So that's my uh, top 10 DBZ statues that I am wanting. Let me know a few of your guys' top 10 that you guys are also, uh, you know, wanting or have always hoped for. You know, I think when it comes to 1-6, I have obtained pretty much most of the statues I want. It's really more one-fourth that I'm really wanting. You know, like I said, I only mentioned, I think, two one-six in my top ten. It's mostly one-fourth, which, you know, I much prefer one-fourth overall just because more presence, more detail, and whatnot. So that is it. That's my top ten. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know yours, top ten, or, you know, a few you guys wish would also be made. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.